Who wants to learn about some funny facts about dogs? That's what I want to learn. So we're going to get right into that today. Switch it up from some stories to go right into some funny um, dog facts. So let's get right into those. Also, don't forget to go check out my my Patreon uh, this Sunday. I think I'm going to try to do something where we're, where I'm trying things. And maybe I'll do another like fact thing or travel. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided on what to do for my Patreon yet. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to hear from me because we did dog stories, we did travel stories. Now maybe we could add something like trying different foods from all around the world, um, stuff like that. So let me know what you guys would like to see from me there. Um, and then also, yeah, go check out Laughable Moments, that's on Spotify, and then my fun fact channel for a funny uh, movie. Okay, or, fu or funny movies or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's get right into it and let's go. Okay, so some of my sources are popford.com, akc.org slash expert advice, and purina. Um, dot co dot uk so those are some of my sources here let's get into it dogs noses are wet to help absorb scent chemicals this amazing dog fact might answer a long-standing question that dog owners have why are dogs noses wet vet street says that an answer is that dogs noses are wet to help them absorb uh, scent chemicals, their noses, their nose sec secretes a special mucus that helps to absorb these chemicals and um, and then they lick their noses to sample them, help them understand what the smell is. Oh, that's interesting. These special mucus, so is that to help whether they like their food too? I'm just curious. Newfoundlands are amazing lifeguards. Let me know if you guys have an, uh, a Newfoundland dog or a Newfie or whatever you want to call them. I've always wanted to or, uh, have one myself. Um, Newfoundland dogs are ultimately doggy lifeguards because they have water resistant coats and webbed feet. They were originally bred as fishermen, helpers, and to rescue people from drowning, although it may be anthropomorphism or interpretation uh, on the part of the owners, some say their dogs try to rescue them when they swim. That's cool. I've never thought of that. All, all of my dogs, except for maybe one or now two of them, are were like water dogs and the rest hated water. So, but none of them are newbies, so. But that's neat to know about. Next one. Three dogs survived the Titanic sinking. Oh, wow. I was curious to hear about that, if any dogs were even on the ship. Because back then, lots of people, like, did not like dogs in public, like, spaces. Like, in stores, on, on a trip especially, on, a, on, like, an airplane. So I was always curious. Did you know that three dogs survived the sinking of the Titanic? Vet Street states that the dogs were in first class and included a Pomeranian puppy, which her owner wrapped in a blanket to escape with, and everyone thought she was carrying a baby. Another Pomeranian and Peckingese? Peckingese? Sorry, I've never heard of that one. Um, all, we're all rescued. Move over, move over, Rose and Jack. I'm gonna look up a pecking, pecking geese, pecking geese, pecking geese. Oh my gosh, they kind of look like a, like a, a little bit of a big, bigger version of Yorkshire or something. I, I don't know how to say it. It's spelled P E K I N G E S E. So pecking geese, pecking geese, pecking geese. I don't know if I said it right. I'm saying it like a million times the same way and I don't know. Anyways, they're kind of cute. They're very, um, you definitely want to keep their, they're very furry dogs, but they're small breed. They're the size 
they look like they could be like the size of a Pomeranian. So they're kind of cute actually. Okay, let's move on. But I didn't know that dogs were even allowed on trips or ships and stuff because dogs, um, it, I feel like back in the day it was hard to find a friendly dog hotel. So, but that could have been, but back then too, they could have been the same as us now. Like they love dogs, they'll pick, bring them anywhere. But they were also small dogs too. Uh, number five, a bloodhound's sense of smell can be used as evidence in court. According to PBS, a, blood a bloodhound's sense of smell is so spot on that it can be admitted as evidence in court of law. Now, if you thought that was incredible dog fact, prepare to have your mind blown. Bloodhounds can also follow tracks that are over 300 hours and can stay on trail for over 130 miles. That's cool. So according to PBS, blood, oh, bloodhound sense of smell. Beep. Hearing sniffing or sniffing or some, some kind of sniffing. Something, I don't know. Anyways. The tallest dog in the world is 44 inches tall. The tallest dog in the world was a Great Dane named Zeus, measured at 44 inches tall on October 4th, 2011. He's the current Guinness World Record holder. Oh, wow. I wonder who owned him. And I wonder how short that person was. No. <laughs> but I do, what is 44 inches? 44 inches. So that's 3.6 feet. That's as tall as a baby human. Wouldn't that be? Or, or a toddler at least? No, an 8 year old. Not a toddler, an eight, probably closer to like an 8 year old. Holy poopsicle. Next one, Visenji dogs don't bark the yaddle. If you thought all dogs bark, then prepare yourself for this fact. The Visenji dog doesn't tend to bark Instead, they are known to yodel, whine, or scream. A greyhound could be could beat a cheetah in a long distance run. The, a greyhound would actually beat a cheetah in a long distance race, according to Psychology Today. Greyhounds are excellent long distance runners and can beat a speed of thirty five. Uh, miles per hour for up to seven miles where the cheetah is incredibly fast it can only be ke only keep its speed for around 200 to 300 yards so they may have the running start but it would be soon be surpassed by a greyhound next a blind man and his guide dog hike the Appalachian Trail according to the Washington Post for eight months during 1990 blind man named Bill Irwin, according or hike, Bill Irwin hiked the Appalachian Trail with his guide dog Orient, helping him along the way. Dog dogs truly are a man's best friend. The Ewoks. It, oh, <laughs> number ten. The Ewoks in Star Wars were based on a dog. If you're a Star Wars fan, you'll love this amazing dog fact. The Los Angeles Times claims that George Lucas modeled the Ewoks after his family dog. That's neat. Um, I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Let me know if you guys are. I'd love to hear in the comments below if you are a Star Wars fan or not. Okay, let's move on to the next fact here. 30% of Dalmatians are deaf in one year. That's, a, that's actually a big percentage for, for that. UFAW states that an, on average around 30% of Dal Dalmatians are deaf in one ear and 5% are deaf in both. This is due to something called the extreme piebald piebald gene, which is responsible for their white coat and blue eyes in some of them. Dalmatians with larger dark patches are less likely to be deaf. That's neat. That's actually really cool. I didn't know that um, about Dalmatians. Now, I hear good and bad things about Dalmatians owning one. They might, I, I'm pretty sure they're high energetic, but I also hear they're not like the best to own, so I don't know. I've always wanted one though. They are very cute, and they seem sweet. And I think, and to be honest, I don't think it's the breed. I think it's the way that we train them. Depending if you get them from a rescue, and I also think it's just the way the dog is. We all have our own personalities, so.
So it's hard to say, right? Next is the Saluki is the oldest dog breed. The Guinness World Record for the oldest dog breed is held by the, by the Saluki. The breed dates back to 329 BC and were kept as royal pets in ancient Egypt. Reportedly, there are also carvings found in southern Iraq of a dog that looks similar to a Saluki, which dates back to 7000 BC. I'm going to look up a Saluki. I've never seen one before. Oh, yeah, I've seen them. I didn't know that's what they were called, though. Those are beautiful dogs. Holy. Holy. Okay. Well, they all are beautiful. Chow Chows and Sharpies have black tongues. The Chow Chow and the Sharpie or Sharpie are the only two dog breeds that have fully black tongues. Even more interesting, the cause of the ble- of these black t- tongues is currently unknown. Dogs have three eyelids. Oh. So are they like layered? Like, how does that work? Many owners haven't heard of this interesting dog fact. But did you know that your four-legged friends have has three eyelids according to I Heart Dog. The third is called the, the third lid is called the ha or or nictitating mis nictating nictitating membrane and it's responsible for keeping the eye protected and lubricated. The African hunting dog is the most successful hunter in the world. The African hunting dog is the most successful and hunter Land, or successful land hunter in the world. They're successful in 50 to 70 percent of their hunts, which makes them consistently the best mammalian hunter. They even ho- hold the current Guinness World Record for it. That's neat. Uh, what's the African hunting dog? I'm looking this up. Never heard of that one before either. Oh, these dogs, they're wild dogs. Can you keep them as pets? I don't know if I've ever seen anyone keep them as pets, but they look they look so cute. They are adorable. Okay. I don't know. Because my dog's a wild dog, but she was also like raised in a barn. However, we got her at an early age, so we, we kind of domesticated her. But these dogs are meant to be bred for hunting, for work. So I don't know if we were sh- should have done that, but we did. But anyways, uh, let, uh, let me know if you guys have any wild dog stories. Um, I have plenty with this one. But yeah, I think she was meant for like the for hunting and working. But we kind of made her we made her a family pet, and apparently an English pointer is not meant for a family pet or. Or the ones that my, the where my parents got her from, they uh, cause they they train them to hunt. So I, I don't know exactly, but she is our pet. She's my baby, and I love her to death. Uh, I'm just curious, cause I've never had, we've never had to, you know, it gets hard to train her sometimes. But she's gotten really good over the years. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The oldest dog in the world was. 30, Bobby, a Portuguese purebred Rufero de do Alentejo, was crowned in February 2023, the oldest dog in the world at 30 years and 266 days old, almost made it to 31. He sadly passed away in October 2023, but his family credited his longevity to the calm and peaceful environment in which Bobby lived and said, and say he always had the freedom to roam around, explore the nearby forests and farmland. How amazing is that? Dogs are smarter than you think. It's proven that dogs can understand and recognize up to about 250 words, gestures, and making them the most skilled species studied in the tasks. It has um, suggested that with training, some even may even recognize and respond to more than a thousand different words. Oh, neat. So if we're saying mean words about them, like the little poop heads, they might understand it. That's okay. They're cute and we love them still. I always say I love you and I hope they know that because that's very true. But they can be um, hard to look after some days. But that's that comes with the territory. 
Same thing with babies, you know, it's not sunshine and rainbows all the time. Sorry, I had to address myself there. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the smallest dog breed in the world is a Chihuahua. Oh, I thought, that, but I thought toy poodles was, were um, like even smaller. Although easy to guess, Chihuahuas are the smallest dog breed in the world. But did you know they can weigh as little as one kilogram? Oh my God, they are incredibly tiny compared to the largest dog breed in the world, the Great Dane, who can weigh around ninety kil kilograms. I was gonna say kilometers, kilograms. Oh my gosh, I would die if I saw that. Oh my God, one kilogram. I would just keep it in my little pocket all day. I bring it to work. A dog's nose print is as unique as a human footprint. If you thought a dog's nose print or pattern is irrelevant, think again. Given their uniqueness, countries such as Finland use nose prints to identify dogs instead of microchips. The Saluki is the fastest dog breed in the world. Sorry, this is number 20. The, uh, the Saluki is the fastest dog breed in the world. Want a dog that can keep up with Olympic level runners? The Saluki can reach a speed of up to 43 miles per hour, followed by, followed by the Greyhound breed with a top speed up to 40. Take that, you, okay, I'm not saying that. Um, that's crazy. I'm just curious, what would be your personal favorite dog breed to have or dream dog breed? I'd love to hear it. Okay, to the next one. To the next one. Okay, I had to re uh, start court recording again because I had something else come up. But yes, if you see a little bit of silence for me, because I was trying to figure out my dogs are upstairs in their kennel, but I heard noise outside of the room. Uh, I know I shouldn't keep my dogs in the kennel, but uh, when I'm working, I, they gotta be in their kennel for a little bit because the one's still a puppy and he's a little too rambunctious. Um, but I kept hearing noise outside, so I'm like, what is that? And no one's home, so I hope there's no ghost in here. But if there is, whatever, there's a ghost. <laughs> okay, anyways, more facts about animals. So the Labrador Retriever has been on the AKC's top five most popular breeds list for, a, for longer than any other breed. That's pretty neat. I do see a lot of Labradors. And, man, they are the... They can be some of the calmest, gentlest dogs I have ever met. So cute. Um, forty-five percent of U.S. dogs sleep in their owner's bed. I feel like that should be up to like seventy-five percent now. <laughs> but some people do like to have their like space, so maybe they'll build a bed in their rooms for them. Speaking of sleeping, all dogs dream, but puppies and senior dogs dream more frequently than adult dogs. Okay, wait, an adult? Oh, I guess an adult dog meaning you're no longer a puppy. 70% uh, of people sign their dogs' names on their holiday cards. I actually don't do that. Maybe I'll just start doing that. <laughs> a dog's sense of smell is legendary, but did you know that their nose has as many as 300 million receptors receptors in comparison a human nose has about five million. Oh so when they smell something they can smell it from miles away. Rin Tin Tin, the famous German Shepherd dog was nominated for an Academy Award. I believe we mentioned this one. Um the French Bulldog was first named the most popular breed in twenty twenty two. The name Collie means black. Collies once tended black-faced sheep. Um, sorry, not trying to sound mean. But that's just a fact. Uh, yawning is contagious even for dogs. The research shows that the sound of a human yawn can trigger one from your dog, and it's four times as likely to happen when it's the yawn of a person your pet knows. Interesting. So now, can a dog, when he they yawn, can we yawn from that yawn? I'm just curious. Oh, wow, that made me yawn. Moving <laughs> on, or else I'm going to be put to sleep. The Dandy Dinmont Terrier is the only bred named for a fictional uh, person, a character in the novel Guy Mannering by Sir Walter Scott. Dogs curl up in a ball when sleeping to protect their organs, a holdover from their days in the wild when they were vulnerable to predator attacks. 
Oh, that's interesting. I just thought that was a cute little thing that they do. It is really cute still, but that is neat to know that, that they're just protecting their, their body, really. Um, but nothing will happen here, so... <laughs> but I get it. The Basenjis is technically barkless, as many people think they can yodel. The Australian Shepherd is not actually from Australia. In fact, they are an American breed. Human blood pressure goes down when petting a dog, and so does the dogs. Huh, so maybe we should be petting dogs every day. There are over 75 million pet dogs in the U.S., more than in any other country. Of course they are. A person who hunts with a beagle is known as a beagler. That's funny, I didn't know that. Dogs are not colorblind, they can see blue and yellow. Huh, interesting. So they can see blue and yellow, but what all other colors can they see? All puppies are born deaf? Oh, wow. I did not, that's actually a new, new fact that I've heard. Um, all puppies are born deaf, but like, even humans too, things probably aren't fully, de are, are, is everything developed in a human though, when they're, like, as a baby when they're born? Or could you grow into like, like maybe your hair, like, I guess a baby's hair can grow, would grow out, right? So, I don't know, that, that's pretty cool though to, to, um, to, to read about that. Dalmatians are born completely white, but they develop their spots as they get older. Aww. Dogs have about 1,700 taste buds, as we humans have uh, between 2,000 and 10,000. So we have, oh, we have more taste buds than them. That probably means they don't like candy and they don't like their fruit and vegetables, but they love their meat, right? <laughs> When dogs kick backwards after they go to the bathroom, it's not to cover it up, but to mark their territory using the scent glands in their feet. Oh, they have scent, they have scent glands in their feet? Interesting. Huh, that's neat about a dog. Um, I never thought it was for them to cover it up either. I never knew why, and so now that's kind of cool too. A study shows that dogs are among a small group of animals who show voluntary unselfish kindness towards others without any reward. Aww. They are very like, you are my best friend and very gentle, typically. The, um, unfortunately, because of the lack of, or the, um, because of neglect and stuff that has happened to dogs or abuse, some dogs just don't get that um, nurturing kind of, I think, probably. They don't feel, to, they don't want to be gentle to humans because of their lack of trust. So, because they've been hurt in the past. So, there are some of those sad ones probably where they are scared and don't want to be gentle, but most dogs are. The Norwegian Lund Hund is the only dog breed creator for the job of puffin hunting. What? What's puffin hunting actually? I don't should I even write that in? Hunting dogs. Oh wow, they're so cute too. They look small. Now what's puffin hunting? It's like is it a t is it type of fish? Or is it like a penguin kind of thing? Anyways, something like that. That's what I got out of that. That's cool. Okay. The Greyhound <coughs> beat cheetahs in a race. While cheetahs can run twice as fast as greyhounds, they can only maintain that 70 miles per hour speed for about 30 seconds. A greyhound can maintain a 35 mile per hour speed for 7 miles. The cheetah may start out first, but the greyhound would soon take over. Uh, take over them. The bloodhound's sense of smell is so accurate that the results of its tracking can be used as evidence in a court of law. That's cool. So they probably use a lot of them for F like FBI dogs or whatever they're called. Um, and then, so there was one that we read about the tallest dog 
And now the shortest dog is, according to Guinness World Records, the shortest dog ever recorded was Pearl the Chihuahua, Chihuahua, if that's what you like to call them. She measures 3.59 inches tall. That's not even a foot tall. That's really cute. Okay. Dogs are as smart as two-year-olds. Your dog is as smart as a two-year-old. Ever wonder why my children around this age seem to have a special bond with the family dog? It can be because they speak the same language, roughly 250 words and gestures. Uh, Dogs have incredible hearing. Paul McCartney has claimed that at the very end of the Beatles song, A Day in the Life, there was a frequency added that any dogs could hear anything. We know they have excellent hearing and pick up on many things humans cannot. You may have to try playing the song and see if your dog gives any reaction. Interesting. Dogs get jealous too. We understand that one. A study at UCSD claims that your dog can genuinely get jealous when they see display affection for another creature. Number five, sniff sniff. Dog butts are home to glands that produce pheromones that give other dogs information about that individual such as gender, diet, and health. It's a dog's way of introducing themselves and getting to know uh, one another so we can be thankful it's that not the same for us (laughs) <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, just, I'm. this is who I am. <laughs> Are you healthy? Like, that's kind of funny. Dogs could reproduce a lot. If never spayed or neutered, a female or her dog, her mate, and their puppies could produce over 66,000 dogs in six years. Dogs dominate. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. Oh. I'm so glad we got our dogs uh, spayed as much as it would have been cool to see puppies from her, but I don't want to use my dogs for breeding or anything like that. Dogs can ride the subway. Dogs, uh, Stray dogs in Russia have learned how to ride the complex subway system, get off at specific stops in search of, of food. <laughs> That's funny. I'm all the Lund Lundhund breed has six toes and can close its ears. That's cool. Your dog can smell your feelings. In fact, your dog's sense of smell is approximately a hundred thousand times better than yours. So it shouldn't be shocking that they can smell things like fear. When a human is fearful, they sweat, and a dog can easily pick up on this change. Interesting. Um, it's magnetic. It's magnetic. Fun fact about dog poop. When your dog is carefully choosing the perfect place to do his business, it's because they prefer to go poop in alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. Uh, that's interesting. In Dogs We Trust, the town of Italwood. It, it'll wild California elected its first mayor in 2012 mayor Max but Max isn't any just just isn't isn't just any regular mayor mayor and he's a golden retriever although Max passed away in 2013 the town elected mayor Max the second into office and he's been governing um uh, it'll wild since way to go Max what is that it'll wild Mayor? (laughs) Okay, so it is a little city in California. He's been elected mayor, but he passed away. Aw, that's funny. Um, Otto the English Bulldog rose to fame when his parent introduced him to the world and showed off his excellent uh, talent in skateboarding. He made the Guinness Book of World Records. Unfortunately, Sweet Otto passed away at the age of 10. Aww. Uh, Franklin Roosevelt spent $15,000 for a destroyer to pick up his Scotty in Aleutian Islands. That's cute. Um, superstar. The famous word... No... 
Purple tongues. No, we did that one. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Those puppy dog eyes. According to a study from 2017, a dog raised their eyebrows to give puppy eyes and make other dramatic facial expressions when they know humans are watching. Shelter dogs have learned this trick too. Pups who employ the puppy eyes trick tend to get adopted more quickly than dogs that show other behaviors like wagging their tails. Interesting. The fun fact recap. Dogs are amazing creatures creatures with so many fun facts to go along with them what did you think of our fun funny and interesting dog facts um and if you're raising a dog and need more guidance with training and behaviors okay they're just offering to sign up for a 30-day course or yeah 30-day course uh again not sponsored by me okay so there goes our fun facts so i'd love to hear what your thoughts are behind those facts there Okay, and then we'll chat soon. Bye now.